ABNC, America's Black News Channel. Watch us on all major cable providers and major streaming platforms. Finally, news that speaks to us. Uh, uh, Judge Katani, Katanji Brown Jackson is uh, one step closer to becoming the first black woman on the U.S. Supreme Court. Uh, she meets with more senators day ahead of her confirmation here next week. And Judge Jackson is a major support in each meeting. She's getting it. I think one of the most impressive candidates I have ever interviewed and talked to um, that's going to be um, hopefully moving on to the Supreme Court here soon. Yeah, I mean, that, that's starting on Monday. And of course, we're going to bring you the confirmation here in live right here on BNC once it starts. And you know, um, you want it. She's qualified. Uh, she's more than deserving uh, to get an opportunity to be on the Supreme Court. But Sharon, you already know what's about to come. So we as people, as black people, need to go ahead and brace ourselves. I think as black people, you're right. We're always ready. But I don't know if I quite know what's going to happen here. Remember, there's mm. two parties and one party has um, out the other. Okay? They've stayed together and they've figured out in a very devious way several devious ways. So I don't know what's going to come of these hearings or if anyone will emerge. Now, you know, it was the House, maybe. But I really think that it's a far gone conclusion. So they will just say, maybe they'll just sit there and mm, slightly go down, mm. slightly go down, or, or maybe they'll all get together and they'll hit her with one theme, not 10, about how she's not good enough, like, you know. I don't know mm -hmm. how liberal she is, or you're going to let all criminals out. Uh, you know, you believe all murderers should go free or something. They, they might just dumb it down and hit her with one lie and not a variety of lies, and then just move on because she'll be confirmed, mm. you know? Yeah, she's going to get confirmed. We know that. I think she's got, she's got the vote, and they've already done the vetting. Uh, she doesn't go into this with any kind of scandal behind her. You know, like Kavanaugh had a scandal uh, behind him coming in. And we remember Clarence Thomas. We'll talk about Clarence Thomas and his wife in just a second. But Clarence Thomas, what he went through uh, mm. during his confirmation hearing and whatnot and all that. Um, but here's what's going to happen. We <laughs> I live in know Atlanta. that there are going to be several senators out there of <laughs> the Coke, um, several senators out there I couldn't uh, bring it who for a decade. are going to... Well, it's still hard to drink, to be honest with you, when it comes to what you, yeah. Anyway, shit Okay. Gears. <laughs> but, okay, uh, no, I, I hear what you're saying. Um, but it's going to be, I think it's going to be a, a couple of people out there, a couple of senators out there who are going to allude to thinking or making it seem like she's not good enough, that she's not qualified enough, that she's not smart enough to be on the Supreme Court. Although she's with magnum cum laude at um, Harvard, mm -hmm. I believe. Uh, I mean, so yes, it's, sir. we know this, we understand what kind of qualifications she brings as a from defense attorney and all that and, and, and clerked uh, for Justice Breyer. We understand the qualified, but still as a black woman, as the first black woman you mean to tell me that I, I, I can guarantee you, I will bet you right now $100 that at least two or three of those senators will allude in some form or fashion to making it seem like she isn't smart enough to be there, that she should not be there. And the only reason that she's there is because of her race. And we know that's not true, but I well, guarantee but Mike, you, I get, you're right. the, the over under is three. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not going to bet because, well, I could, but you know me and my philosophy. I'm not going to pay. Men should pay, but I'm not going to pay if I lose. <laughs> but I will say this. They've already done that. And they're able to, to do this narrative because Democrats aren't that great about talking about race either. They, Democrats mm -hmm. are always tiptoeing around like, well, if I say this, then the other side will say this. If I do this, then the other side will call. Instead of doubling down and saying, I said what I said, black woman. Supreme Court, the time is now, and you know why. Mm -hmm. Who's with me? That's not what they say. They then put out statements to try to clarify. Well, what I meant was, we know what you meant. The other side's going to always... What was Tyson's move? Well, he was just power. He wasn't like Sugar Ray, who, like, danced mm -hmm. and, you know, did all that kind of stuff. 
Uh, but the, instead of pushing back, so yeah, they'll, they'll probably do a little bit of that. They'll probably do a little bit of that.